I want to ask you guys as players, look, when you have two, two players like this, two dominant players like this in Dame and, and Giannis, it's not a foregone conclusion it's going to succeed, is it? Well, how do you make it? How do you make it work? Well, I, I think when you're a great player, you have to have, okay, I, like, I'll give an example for me personally. When I got traded to Phoenix, <coughs> I got Kevin Johnson and Dan Marley. I was like, Citizen you know what? Cade. I can just get rebounds. Like, when I was in Philly, I had to score every basket. I had to score every basket. And then I had to get every rebound. Man, when I got this score, it's going to be great for Dame. Like, damn, I don't have to score every big basket. Giannis is going to be the same way. I don't have to score every basket. So I, can, I can go to Chris Milton. I never I, like the better players you play with the easier the game is because you get more freedom. Uh, I, I do I, when I got Sabalos and those guys man. I was like man. This is easy basketball and they ain't gonna have so much easiness. It's gonna be great at 32 points a game a career high last year for wow. Damian Lillard two things maybe three one you're expected to win but when you're a great individual player. A lot of players don't do this, I don't know, but I always said to myself, this is what I'm going to do. I don't care about who else on the team. I'm doing this, 28-10, playoffs, 35-10. Now you got another guy that's thinking the same way. Both of y'all have to do that and do it together and make the other guys great. I don't need you looking for me and doing that. I'm going to get my 28. You're going to call my play four times, I'm going to score, I'm going to get a little pick and roll, I'm going to get an offensive rebound. I'm going to do what I do. I need you to do what I do. Chris Milton, when I kick it out, kick it to you, Lopez, and kick to you, hit the jumper. So they're two great players, and you know they have the same mentality. I want them to keep that mentality, but work it to where it affects the team in a positive way. Like I don't need Dame coming down doing this all the time. No, I need I need Dame to be Dame. Dame when you want to shoot it, you shoot it. Janssen's gonna get his, and then you know when, when Dame has to ball, Giannis has to do other things. If they keep that mentality, because I know they both want it. Similar type players, I know they both want it. I'm actually very excited to see what these guys can do, but I don't need none of those guys stepping off the guy because it's called a one-two punch forever. Like, if you know anything about boxing, you can get knocked out from the jab, you can get knocked out from this punch, like I almost knocked Chuck out. There. Yeah, but what, I missed. Uh, how significant is the loss of uh, Drew Holiday? Well, it's significant on, a, on, on certain levels because of comfortability. They did win an NBA championship with Drew Holiday. It's not like the guy wasn't good enough to help you win a championship. Uh, you know, there are things that happen. As you obviously have a new coach. There's a reason. There's obviously you, you got knocked out in the first round. There's a reason. So they feel that the reason is offensively they were stagnant, which they are at times. But that wall, that's, that infamous wall that teams build is impossible to build. You cannot build a wall and leave Dame Lillard open. It's impossible. And, and then now you're leaving Middleton open. Before it was just, oh, you're leaving Middleton open. Yeah, he might get 25. You leave Dame, Dame, Dame Lillard open, he will get 50. I mean, he averaged 32 points a game, so you cannot leave him open. So, yes, that will be a – the wall is gone. The other thing that, you know, Chuck, Chuck talked about when he went to Phoenix, I'm talking about when Clyde Drexler came to Houston, top 75 player all time, top 50 at that time of all time, coming to the team. What he, what he brought was an energy of hunger. You know, like, I haven't got one. And that, I was, when he said that, I was like, oh, there it is. Yeah. I haven't got one. So there's an energy that the like that newness again, like we got to try to get it instead of like we did it and can we do it again? No, I've never done it. And that's that energy I think Dame will bring. And also, Drew Holiday is a better defender than Dame, but Dame is a better offensive player. So that's going to be a wash, in my opinion. I think the interesting thing about the Buck is going to be the Bucks going to be the coaching staff, you know. The coach, he's a young coach. Defensive minded coach. He, he defensive minded, Griffin, but just like he's he never, he's a been a never had a coach, though. But he's never been a head coach. Yeah. Like, he's he a defensive guy. He, and he's going to have to teach uh, Giannis. He's a great defender. He's going to have to get on Dame about playing defense, Chris Milton about playing defense. Does he have the personality? Because, uh, you know, does he have the personality to yell at those two guys? That, to me, is going to be the biggest question. Already had a little episode there with Terry Stotts left his staff so uh, we will see hey but you know what I tell all coaches the same thing you're gonna get fired at some point you do things your own yeah, way yeah I, I always say do it your own assistance, way about assistance they're there to assist you 
They're not there to guide you. They're there to assist you. So if that doesn't feel like the person assisting you and he doesn't feel he can assist you, I understand. We should have a, we should have a team meeting right now. Because I thought y'all sucked. Y'all showed the show sucked the other night. <laughs> but we're not your assistant. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> no.